Pilots, thanks for tuning in to Motion RC YouTube channel. We're going to do the Free Wing version 2 70mm F16 upgraded suspension strut swap. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> anyway, it's super easy. It was the easiest upgraded uh, retract swap I've done so far. We'll start with the nose gear um, and go into the mains. Very easy. Um, any questions, ask them in the comment section below. But it's, it's a real easy mod to do and uh, super cool. We're showing it here with the optional ordnance kit and there are a few different liveries that you can select when you get this aircraft. You can check out the build video and the flight review on the Motion RC YouTube channel and uh, see some more of that in action if you'd like. Otherwise, stand by, let's do this thing. I'm gonna kinda score around the these plastic casings just a little bit. Just so I'm not messing up the paint when I pop off the cover. I still might, but at least this will help try to prevent that. Certainly won't hurt anything to do that. Get it started there, nice and easy and not all at once. Very good. So I'm really glad I scored around the cover. And I'm not going to do a thing. I'm going to leave all this on here. And when I glue it back, I'm going to put the glue right on top of where they have glue already. Now I have access very easily to the nose gear. Now, when you replace these, you can see that the nose gear has the retract attached. So that's why we're going to do the whole thing here. So, all right. I'm going to also undo the servo horn on the steering servo so I can just leave it all together so when I lift this out the linkage everything will be on the steering tiller no big deal that'll be fine it's nice to see that uh, steering servos metal gear this really will be a drop-in fit the mains are a little bit different There's the reinforcement plate, and here's the unit. So I've just removed the nose gear and gently pulled on the wire and got the connector right here exposed. Um, it's really going to be easier to get that from down here than in the fuselage. So this is, it really doesn't get any easier. So simply unplug it. And there's that. And we'll be reusing this right here. There we go. So I don't need this anymore. Nice to have a backup laying around. So cool. So here's the new unit with the suspension. Um, there's the lead. It's already done for you. No, uh, you don't have to take the retract apart or anything. You are going to reuse this. Um, no problem there. And just take a look at the steering tiller and get it on. Click it. There's the surgical tubing. Go ahead and get this wire done. Noting polarity, orange up in my case. Plugging it in firmly. Tuck that wire down in there. Get this guy in. Now one thing you want to make sure, don't screw yourself, is th this needs to be underneath the clevis and everything when you before you put it back on because it's going to open like this 
it needs to be able to do that. If it's over the top, um, that's that's not going to work for you. It's got to be down. And a clevis can twist, so that's that's easy. And because I know I've moved the servo, I'm going to go ahead and just click it on a little bit there on the gear. But I know it's not right because I moved the servo, um, getting it off. So I'm going to put it where I think I moved it to, which is there. We'll see. No problem. So it's as easy as that. Now here we go with the metal plate and four screws, and we're done. We do have to plug in the plane and center back up this and put the screw back, but that's all. Super easy, and we'll do that now. So we can see I'm a little bit crooked there, no big deal. And I expect that because this was straight off when I took it um, off. So we'll get it straight. And that's where it was resting at neutral before. And now I'm just gonna zap the screw into the servo. And um, the nose gear is done except for gluing back on the, uh, the plate. And since I have access now, I'm going to tuck this in a little bit. So while I've got the opportunity, I'm going to just put a little tape over that. Just to keep the slack there out of the way. No big deal. Here we go with foam tack. Use a little bit uh, along the edge. Don't need much at all. And I already know I got too much there. Line it up and put it on. I can live with that. And that will dry just right. And if I'm worried about it, I can put some hinge tape on it. That looks great. So the mains are super easy. I've already done the other side and I have already scored along the plastic here except for the bottom one. Um, just peel it away. Get it started and once you do that you can use your um, and I don't pry against the foam I just am lifting here. Once you get it started, it's easy. Uh, kind of walk the line and gently peel it back little by little. And here you have to get down in it a little bit to start to break this away off of this um, bigger chunk of foam. And I'm always really glad that I've scored these. Because there is the potential for your paint to rip off past the seam if you don't. So you just cut a line there. It really, everything looks okay. Nothing even went really to my line. But um, better safe than sorry. So this is really um, easy to do. Um, first thing you want to do is unscrew these screws, set them to the side, and then you're going to want to extend your retracts. And that's going to allow you to get to the grub screw, the set screw, that's in the trunnion. Um, which is awesome, actually. It's super easy to do. One of the easier strut swaps that I've um, done recently, actually. And you'll see too, it's really nice that the leads off these retracts are short. Um, the connector is right here. You don't have to really feed anything through the fuselage. It's 
if you had to replace a retract, it would be really easy to do. Metal reinforcement plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and extend the retract before I unplug it. And there you go, that's right there, it's so sweet. Go ahead and unplug it, just so I can do the work on it. I just simply have to remove a grub screw here and a grub screw here. First thing I do is I just loosen it to get the strut out because I don't want to lose it or anything. So let's do that. So just simply loosen this up. You don't have to take it all the way out if you don't want to yet. That'll be sufficient just to get it out. And there's the other one over here. The stock strut has been filed with flat spots on both sides. The replacement strut, however, only has it on one side. So I'm going to file another one because why not? Now's the best time. And then uh, we'll get this thing together. So nothing crazy, and I never go as deep as they do, but I put a flat on mine too. So now I want to keep in mind the factory flat right here because that's going to be the first one that I tighten down on in the retract unit itself because I trust their factory flat uh, is straight and exactly where it's supposed to be. So I'll go with that to set the whole thing. So here we go. Uh, the retract is oriented the way it would sit in the plane and my factory flat is inboard. So my wrench is there and waiting. And what I'm going to do, this goes in all the way. And I trust the factory flat. So I'm going to tighten this. And you can see the strut kind of turn itself into place. So that's nice and snug right there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to back this one out all the way because I'm neurotic. And I'm going to put a little Loctite on the grub screw. And then I'm going to do it on the other one too. I know it's impossible to see with when a guy has their hands in the way, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to put just a little bit of Loctite on this, and then we'll set it. Get a little Loctite on there. Feels good. Nice and tight. Double check the other side just because. Nice and tight. And and touching the trunnion. This strut is touching the trunnion just like the other one and just like the stock ones do. This is ready to install back. Ready to go. Awesome. There's a retract unit back in. It really does not get any easier than this, folks, on one of these swaps. It's just fantastic. Get them all started right now. Got my magnet working overtime. There, they're started. White to orange. Make sure it goes that extra little bit. So the polarity is good, the retract is good, it's in there. You could easily cover this little channel with tape, no big deal. Now we're going to drop the gear. So we can easily screw in the rest of the way. So there's that, awesome. Now we glue on the uh, cover and we're done. This job is completely done again not much And there's not going to be any trouble holding that plastic um, to that shape of the fuselage.
And a lot of times with a foam tack, you put it down and pull it apart and you expose air um, to it uh, to help it along and join like foam pieces together. For this kind of thing, I'm content with letting it ride. Uh, if I'm worried about it, I'll tape it as well, but I'm not worried about it. So let's look at these gear. Open up. Flip it over and sign off, guys. Sweet. There we go. Pilots, this concludes the upgraded suspension strut swap video for the free wing F16 70mm EDF available as 6L or 4Cell at MotionRC.com. Check out the product page and you can see uh, the upgrades tab. Click it and you will get to the struts along with some other items. Um, and I hope the video showed you exactly what to do. This is one of the easier swaps I've done. Super, super easy and going to be rewarding. Again, who doesn't want this? <laughs> All right, guys, see you at the field. I'm going to get a Mobius strap to the bottom of this thing and show you these struts in action. But until then, get yours at MotionRC.com. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and see you at the Hobby Squawk Forums. See ya.